was so nice to be able to listen to your favorite music on the go. It was Sony who helped make portable music a reality with the very first Walkman. The first cassette tape was developed by a Dutch electronic company named Philips back in 1963. Inside the cassette is a magnetic tape with audio tracks. Sony's co-founder, Musaro Ibuka, would listen to music on these little cassettes while traveling for business, but he had to use a big bulky machine to play it. Ibuka asked Sony's designer, Norio Oga, who later became president of Sony, to design something a little smaller and more portable. That led to the release of the world's first low-cost personal stereo, the very first Walkman. This first model was called the TPS-L2, and it went on sale in Japan July 1st, 1979. It didn't sell very well at first, only about 5,000 that month. Sony's sales reps started showing it off to people on the streets of Tokyo. That helped sales explode. The company ended up selling more than 50,000 units in the first two months. People loved it. Here's a fun fact. Sony's president at the time didn't like the name Walkman, but advertising for it had already been released and the name Walkman really started catching on. Because of this, Walkman was the name they ended up going with. They figured it was better than spending a ton more money on advertising to change it. Sales really started ramping up worldwide in the 80s. It didn't take long for the Walkman to reach the United States. It hit US shelves almost a year later in June of 1980. Sony's second model was released in 1981. New audio playback technology allowed it to be a lot smaller than the first model. In 1982, the Walkman got a little more fancy when Sony added a radio. Now you could listen to a cassette tape and the radio on the same device. That was pretty amazing back then. The technology continued to get better and better as each new model was released. In 1984, auto reverse technology was introduced. This meant when one side of the cassette was done playing, it would automatically start playing side two. Normally you'd have to take the tape out and flip it around to play the other side. But this auto reverse technology made it so you didn't have to do that it would automatically play side two without you having to flip it around. I still have my first Walkman. This one's from 1989. You can see just how fast technology advanced on the Walkman. What I loved most about it was the digital dial on the front. It wasn't like the old analog dial. On this Walkman, the digital display showed you exactly what radio station you were dialed into, and you could save up to 10 stations in the memory. That digital display also had a clock and an alarm, and of course, the auto reverse technology. It never had to flip the tape over to play the other side. Sony sold more than 200 million Walkman cassette players worldwide, making it a true pioneer in portable music. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you liked it, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.